Welcome to a brief overview of the expectations for the services marketing exam. Now, I know exams aren't everyone's favorite way to spend a couple of hours, but what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to approach this exam with a new mindset. Knowing what we do about perceptions, expectations, the zone of tolerance, and how our antecedent states as individuals can modify the way in which we experience and encounter, I'd like you to come to the exam with an expectation of a positive outcome, an expectation that you're going to enjoy the exam. That way, it's going to be a lot easier for you to perceive that the exam was, in fact, pleasant and pleasurable. So, what you will be facing is the Tournament of Champions mode. This is where there are three possible questions available to you. Each question is weighted at 20%, and there is a perfect score available per question. The highest scoring answer to each of the questions will walk away with 20 from 20. This means it is possible to score a perfect exam. So the top score, the highest point score per question takes out the 20. You can, if you get top score on two questions, you can walk away with 40. Um, 40. Now, the key things to be considering about this is that the questions, given the size and scope, given the uh, equal balance between them as two 20% items, you are looking at equally weighted answers. You're also looking at questions that will, by necessity, need to draw on the whole of the semester. So the mission critical match information you need to know, the exams have a minimum set of requirements, First thing is there will be instructions provided to you on the day. It is vital that you are relaxed during the exam process. A relaxed, confident, happy approach to the exam is going to enable you to read the question clearly and to draw on your experiences of the semester. The second part to consider is that the exam is a known entity at the far end of proceedings for which preparation is already underway. Each chapter you read, each tutorial question set you work through, each time you read one of the assigned readings and you read and assign your own readings for your assignments, you are preparing for the exam. This is a central part of the way the exam operates. You are taking on a two-hour block. It's a 15-minute reading time. This means effectively you have one hour per 20%. You are operating on an equally weighted budget, so both of your answers should be roughly the same length. And this is an important factor because one of the things in the exam is that we measure your ability to budget under pressure by proxy. The next thing that's really important to understand about my exams is that I am a straightforward and blunt individual. I don't bother with tricks. I can't be bothered. If you want to trick yourself, that is a self-service option, you may do so at your leisure, but why you want to do that, I don't know. The questions will be the ones on the page that you will deal with. Don't try and game the exam. Don't try and think, oh, how do I trick him? How do I, how do I sneak a, maybe there's some tricky sub-question that I haven't, you know, he hasn't stated that I'm supposed to answer. No. Questions on the paper, answer it directly, blunt unsubtle, to the point, that's what I look for. So, it's a
closed book. It's an unseen. And this is where the semester comes to really help you out on this. So how you do this. As you are writing papers, as you are write, doing the research for your essays, pay attention to your notes. Gather your notes, keep your notes. Switch up a gear, really consciously engage. When you are summarizing an article, consciously engage. I think, I'm gonna to need to know this, or I wanna know this, write it out. Do what it takes to get that memory and get that done early. In the exam room, you will be calling on your short, medium, and long-term memory. Now, your long-term memory takes time to store, so the earlier you start storing, the better things work for you. The other aspect to this is that I'm going to invite you to use citations, because you will have written a literature review which had a mandatory minimum set of services marketing references. You have written a case study which also used services marketing references. And week by week, you had assigned readings and assigned materials to work with. When you come to the final exam, to maintain the consistency of the performance, to maintain the simplicity of the approach, I'm going to expect you to use a similar style of evidence-supported writing that you have trained on in the literature review and in the case study. The first two assignments are practice for the exam room. So this is all about the integration. This is all about bringing it together under exam conditions in the final moment. The questions will emerge from the content area. You'll be able to look at these questions and see, ah, I can use a portion of the subject. You won't be pulling out week by week. You won't be expected to jot down and understand what page 30x of figure B6 subdivision 12 had to do. None of that. None of that. Pointless recall. What you will be expected to do is apply to look at a scenario, to look at a question and go, that's a services marketing problem, I can answer that, and to answer it. And that's the thing, this is going to be an experience that you can master, it's going to be an experience that you can enjoy, because you have a skill set, you've been training for it, and you're ready. As for citations, yes please. It's closed book exam, it's unseen. This is the time. Expectations perceptions theory is in play here and now. If you think about that Zethamol et al framework, a closed book unseen exam comes with an expectation set. If you were to exceed that set of expectations, if you were to delight by being able to use references to theory, to acknowledge the influence of others' works on your own answer in the exam room under exam conditions and exam pressure, you would be delighting the marker. You would be exceeding expectations. You would be presenting the perfect services marketing application of principles in a services marketing environment. So you are politely, formally, and cordially invited to continue using references to continue writing in the audience, wowing, evidence-led, citation-driven style that you have trained on for two assignment tasks prior to this exam. Now, key things to do at this point. Any questions, contact me on the usual platforms. Key thing to do is every time you look at this video, look at how long you have left in the semester and then start scheduling, start timetabling, start having a clear plan of, I'm going to do the readings and the preparation and reread this chapter, reread this book and look at these notes on these dates at this time. Schedule it, block it in the diary, attend those meetings with yourself, put the work in. And the exam day becomes a really easy, pleasant and surprisingly fun 
day for you.